All right. Um, need Mulligan's hand. I will keep. Uh, can't keep that. All right. Against <laughs> is a Delver. Not a not a matchup I I really want to see. The matchup does get a bit better post board. In game one, if I don't find Tron quickly, I'm probably just dead. Okay, that's a start. Oh, ninja's fine. Nilver is scarier. Okay, that is pretty reasonable draw. What if I put playing days? Oh. Tough matchup game one, but it improves post board, so I'm gonna need to try to bank on that. Alright, well... Let me play this prism. Expedition map. Uh, can't quite use that yet. Opponent either has a counter spell or spell slaughter. Either way, I can't play the expedition map. Delver. Sure. Now, if that was a Tron piece, that would have been great. But it's not. All right, I need to pray my opponent doesn't kill me this turn. Alright, GG. Alright, well this matchup does get quite better. 
post board. Uh, let's see, do I keep it rolling thunder? Hmm. Definitely cut one ghosty flicker. What about demonic wall versus <clears throat> probably cut one wall. <clears throat> and uh, let's try this. <clears throat> if I can land a circle protection blue early. <clears throat> That's pretty much the game. So, I have to mold this hand. Keep. Uh, I'm actually going to bottom that. I know I could play Spells Expedition Map here to play around Spell Sutter, but I think I want to get my mana developed quicker. Rather than um, make sure, guarantee I resolve expedition map. All right. Now, I'm not too sure what I want to fetch with my expedition map yet. Because uh, I might want to get Shimming Grotto so that I can play Circle. Yeah, let me just play Prophetic Prism. Just trying to hit land drops. Or find a find a circle. These maps are going to get Tron pieces now, because I have my white source. So next turn I'm probably going to bait with my prism, and then play my two maps. Checking. Okay. Yeah, so basically this matchup is good post board just because of all the circles. Okay, let me try Pathetic Prism. And let me try Signet. Spell starter, sure. Okay.
Now, I'm going to be a bit patient with my circle, because it literally wins the game if it resolves. Let's see if my opponent's going to play a ninja here. I mean, I'm happy to play this waiting game, I think. So, let's see... Okay, rolling thunder. Do I start with that? Let's see. Rolling thunder, he counter spells. I play a map. Uh, all right, let's try a map. Okay, let's go. Um, Let me just make my land drop. So, let's try a map. Okay. So, let me get a power plant, and I'll try another map. Get my moat aisle, cycle that. Ooh. That's going to be pretty good next turn. Scred. Alright, so... You're going to need three counter spells here. Can you take one more hit? 
I could, but I probably shouldn't. Impulse. Question is, does my opponent, is my opponent holding up multiple bolts? What happens if I play my circle here? Can I afford to take one more damage? Alright, so let me start out by playing for the alchemy. I'm going to play Impulse. Demonic Wall. So let's see. I lead off the mole drifter here. I lead off the rolling thunder. Let's try a mold drifter. Let's try a circle. And let's try a circle. Jeez. Alright, looks like my opponent had just the right draw. Uh, GG. Yeah. 
All right, GG's. That's ugh, painful. Wish I could have drawn some of my retrogriffs. He had exactly the. Um, so I didn't have. Um, ah, there it is. I didn't have the fourth colored mana, so I couldn't play Rolling Thunder, Circle, and Circle. Which is my main downfall.